This is 1980s Sri Lankan sand struck on a copper planchette graded as AU55 by PCGS. The typical 1983 scent is copper plated zinc and weighs 2.5 grams, a transitional alloy mint error akin to its more famous 1943 bronze predecessor. A possible explanation is that copper planchette became wedged in a hopper or mint cart during early 1982 and was finally dislodged the following year. A lightly circulated and moderately abraded mint green and chocolate brown example, Luster illuminates the legends. It was sold for $16,450. This is attractively toned 1964 Dear Rizwa in MS67 condition with full bands. The process of toning is caused by a variety of factors, including exposure to air, moisture and chemicals. It is a natural process that takes time and it's not always consistent. This means that the natural tone coins are scarce, especially in superb gem grades, and they are therefore more valuable than the coins that have been artificially toned. Dominant charcoal copper of burst toning yields to the splashes of more vivid gold, blue and pink iridescence towards the lower right border, and toned on the reverse with smooth surfaces and billowy mint frost throughout. It was sold for $920. This is 1942 Type 1 Jefferson Nickel struck on a silver alloy planchette, highly sought after a wrong planchette coin even in such massively worn and circulated condition. Greeted as Good 6 by PCGS, 1943 dated sand struck on copper planchettes brings spectacular prices but similar wartime wrong alloy transitional errors on Jefferson Nickels are significantly rarer. The present lot is struck from Sands Mintmark Type 1 dies. It is struck in the silver alloy composition associated with Type 2 design bearing a large P Mintmark above the Monticello. This lightly marked cream grey example displays wear on motifs, but the legends are fully weightable and show only slight blending with the rim. It was sold for $9,987.50. This is 1971 Noah's Jefferson Nickel graded in PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This conditional rarity is among the finest Noah's 1971 proof Jefferson Nickel certified. According to Heritage, this conditional rarity is among the finest Noah's 1971 proof Jefferson Nickel certified. The needle sharp motifs are starkly contrasted against liquid-like mirrored fields and both sides exhibit a hint of warm, light golden toning. It ended up selling for $8,100. Here is 1916 D Mercury Diamond extremely fine 45 condition. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1916 D is considerably more challenging to find in choice extremely fine condition than it is in lesser or finer grades. This excellent collector's grade example is eminently attractive with smooth silver surfaces and rich grey accents surrounding the raised elements, sharp from stem to stern. The motifs are well defined and the eye appeal is strong. CEC endorsement confirms these key dates, high quality for the assigned grade. It was sold for $9,000. Here is 1971 Lincoln Sand with double dye of worse. Graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. Moderate dye doubling is seen on all of worst letterings. On this guidebook variety, magnification is usually needed to spot the doubling. The doubling is strongest on the word liberty and in the word in God we trust. The carbon free surfaces show well struck design elements and satiny copper red luster. The variety is rarely seen this fine. It was sold for $5,640. This is 1943 Washington Quarter with double dye obverse, graded as AU58 by PCGS. AU stands for about uncirculated, the highest grade designation for circulated coin. In God we trust and the date are strongly doubled, as are initial letters in Liberty. Lustrous and minimally abraded with delicate almond gold and stone grey toning. It was sold for $10,281.25 This is 1990 Noah's Lincoln sent in PR69 red deep cameo condition, essentially flawless and fiery red. This key Lincoln memorial scent is meticulously struck superb gem. Mirrored fields are so deep they appear black under the direct light surrounding frosted orange-red devices. The stippled field texture seen on this scent is characteristic of the Noah's proofs. This interesting and rare modern proof variety projects to have a surviving population of fewer than 200 coins. 
making it a must-have rarity for serious Lincoln Scent Collector. It ended up selling for $19,975. This is 1943 as Lincoln Scent struck on a bronze scent, graded as VF certified by PCGS. In 1943, the United States Mint transitioned from using copper for Lincoln scents to zinc coated steel due to the shortage of copper during World War II. These steel scents are commonly known as 1943 steel scents. However, some copper planches from the previous year, 1942, were left in the coining process. These leftover bronze planches from 1942 were used to strike a small number of 1943 Lincoln scents in error. The 1943S Lincoln scent struck on a bronze planchet is considered a major error coin. This error occurred because the bronze planchets were never intended to be used for the 1943 coinage. The rarity and mystique surrounding this coin have led to intense demand among coin collectors and enthusiasts. The combination of its error status, historical context, and limited availability make it a must-have for serious collectors. This one ended up selling for hundred and forty one thousand dollars this is 1965 roosevelt time struck on a 90 percent silver planchet graded as au 55 by ngc this is one of the most popular wrong planchet errors in today's market a transitional one that involves a 90 percent planchet that the mint ceased using for regular issue dime production in 1964 with 1965 dated dies from the first year of regular issue copper nickel clad coinage According to Stax Bowers, otherwise properly struck, although accuracy does compel us to mention trivial softness of detail along the left of words and upper reverse borders, boldly to sharply defined elsewhere with bright brilliant white surfaces that retain appreciable mint luster. It was sold for $7,800. This is 1979 Lincoln Cent in MS68 red condition. The Philadelphia Mint coined 6 billion Lincoln Cents in 1979, yet only 12 pieces have been similarly certified at PCGS. This glowing orange super gem has, been, has both design motifs with frosty luster and sensational eye appeal. It is destined for the finest collection, $5,462.50. This is 1970 S. Lincoln Scent with double diverse, graded in Mint Day 63 red by PCGS. The doubling is boldest towards the left sides of Liberty and in God We Trust, but it is visible throughout the legends, as well as zero in the date. Both sides show pleasing brick red color, a scrape is noted between the bust of Lincoln and the date. These along with some light flex account for the grade. The chair picker's guide calls is definitely one of the rarest of all Lincoln scent varieties. It was sold for $6,325.